Andrew's Pitchfork is a technical analysis tool used in trading to identify potential support and resistance levels within a trending market. It consists of a median line or center line and two parallel lines that form a channel, helping traders visualize trends and forecast price movements. Constructed by selecting three key points, a high, low, and subsequent high or low, the Pitchfork's lines guide traders by acting as dynamic support and resistance levels. Price movement within this channel often oscillates between the upper and lower lines, with the median line serving as a reversion point. Traders use it to identify potential entry exit points and combine it with other indicators for better accuracy. To demonstrate how you can draw Andrew's pitchfork on the chart, we will switch to C Trader Algo and create an assistant CBOT that will automatically draw the pitchfork for us. Let's name it Andrew's Pitchfork. Andrew's Pitchfork needs six parameters, the price and the time of each key point. In our CBOT, we will draw an uptrending Andrew's Pitchfork. For this reason, we will search for two lows and a high in between. In case you want to draw a downtrending Pitchfork, you will need to search for two highs and a low in between. First, Let's declare the necessary parameters. We will need parameters to store prices and the indices of the two lows and the high value. Then, we will detect the two minimum prices and the high price necessary for our pitchfork points. CTrader Algo allows you to define the time location by either providing the absolute time or by providing the relative bar index. Therefore, the method that draws the pitchfork on the chart provides the relevant overrides. In our example, we will use the bar index to draw our pitchfork. Let's write the code to detect the indices of the high and low prices. Finally, let's draw the pitchfork on the chart. We will build our CBOT, add an instance, and backtest it. Here we can see our pitchfork drawn on the chart. We will go back to our source code and change the code so that the pitchfork is updated as the chart changes. What we need to do is to move the code into a separate method. and then call this method in the onBar method as well. Lastly, since we are only looking for uptrend setups, we will add a check to make sure minimums and maximums are in the correct order. Let's build our strategy again and backtest it. Here we can observe our pitchfork being updated as new setups appear. There you have it. We have demonstrated how to draw Andrew's pitchfork on the chart. We hope that you found the video helpful. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments section and subscribe to stay up to date with more Algo videos.